Mike, what have you learned about your, your tight ends uh, two weeks into camp so far? Yeah, well, uh, it's a much deeper group than last year, which I'm really excited about. You know, adding Corey and then some of the young guys and guys that had a little bit less of a role last year step it up. So really excited about that depth and uh, the way that the group is trending. Now we still got to make tremendous strides until uh, UC Davis. So we're anxious to do that. How has Jack taken his game to the next level after a successful freshman year? Yeah, you know, the thing I like about Jack is he wants to continue to work. Uh, and he's really, really pushing himself. And today, especially at practice, I felt it even more. Just urgency to improve from him. Um, that's the most exciting thing. That's the toughest thing probably after you have a great freshman year to come back and still be the guy and then continue to push yourself and um, you know get yourself on that national stage like he has done. So really excited about that. And I think he's been a, a great example for the group. Corey's a guy who's had a ton of success, all Big Ten. And uh, what what does he add to the, the tight end room? How do you use a, a unique skill set like his? No doubt. I mean, certainly in the route running game and all that kind of stuff, he looks different than some of the other guys. And we're really excited about his skill set. Uh, I think the thing that's impressed me the most is just uh, and I kind of knew this watching his tape when we got him, but just his ability in the run game. Uh, I've been really excited about that, just his pop and his snap in the run game. So uh, he's certainly going to be a weapon for us. We're excited to have him on the team this year. Yeah, super productive at Maryland, and uh, we're hoping to keep that streak going. Coach talked about in the screen like there is no position that he can play to players. So what kind of push you to go say, hey, we want to go get someone like Corey? Well, all right, in the portal, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, for us, it just came down to um, – you know, with a guy like that and all the receiving production that he's had, especially out of the tight end, um, you know, we were just really, really excited to add that and, you know, the production and what he's done previously, um, you know, and of course pair him up with Jack and some of the other guys that are coming along in the room. You know, I just thought uh, the skill set that we had in the room and adding him, it just complimented really nicely. And then, you know, his production, his game, what he's done, it speaks for itself. Jack has talked about the potential of both of them being on the field and sounds really excited about that. How do they kind of complement one another? Yeah, they certainly do, um, and they're both very cerebral players, players, which I really like. And when they're out there, they help each other out and with assignments and alignment and all those kind of things. And uh, they both really love the game of football, which I really, really appreciate it. It makes coming to work with them uh, fun. Um, but certainly their receiving game you know, speaks for itself and what they can do uh, together on the field. I think it's a dangerous combo. We're excited to take advantage of this this year. How's Nate Ruchina done in his switch? from a middle linebacker? Yeah, we are certainly to have, uh, happy to have you know Nate uh, in the room. He's been an awesome addition. He's just a complete workhorse. Kid loves football. Um, I don't think there's anyone in this program that loves football more than mm -hmm. Nate. Um, he's an unbelievable addition. We've had a blast having him. He's done a really nice job. You know, he was a wide receiver at Monta Vista here locally. Um, so some of the route running and catching and all that stuff, he came in pretty natural. So we were excited about that, you know, and then uh, you know, we went to work on the run game, and he's certainly expanded his role on that and uh, has a bright, bright future at tight end, I think. As a former offensive lineman, is it pretty cool having an OC who is an offensive line coach as well? For sure. Um, you know, especially with the run game ideas and being able to be kind of involved in all phases of the game. And, um, you know, it's just a, a role model for me to see someone go from the O-line room, like I played O-line, and continue to grow his game. and. Um, you know, he's an unbelievable offensive mind. Really, really appreciate having him and being under his wing and, and having him as a role model. It's been a blast. It feels like every offensive point here talks about getting the tight ends involved. It feels like you guys are legitimately doing that in camp. I mean, what's, what's the role for you guys this year? Well, we hope as much as they'll let us be on the game plan, we want to be there and we want to be productive. You know, I was just talking about those guys. You know, when the tight end is on the field, the tight end has to be felt. And production for tight ends is not just in the receiving game. You know, you don't get to come off the field uh, with eight catches for 100 yards, you know, it still could have been a bad game. Uh, different than the receiver room, um, different than the running back room might be. Production is in the run game, on the perimeter screen game, um, when our number is called in the passing game, being open and where we're supposed to be, when we're supposed to be there. So I'm excited for those guys. They're taking steps. There's tons of things to work on in the tight end room, but we got a pretty eager room. So uh, I'm excited to work with that group. What was your first thought when Ben caught that pass the other day? Which one was it? The one Ben caught the pass down here. Oh my gosh, I thought run through the ball, bro, and use two hands. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that was awesome to see. Um, for sure with Ben, he's a very talented player, and he's still very young, and uh, he's coming in, uh, into his game. And I've seen his, him make his biggest jump here in fall camp, which I've been so excited. It was awesome to see him burst onto the scene. And as I told the coaches, I see him do that every day in my individual drills. So when he does things like that, it doesn't surprise me. Now I just want to see him do it more consistently, which he has in fall camp. So really excited about Ben. He's got a huge future here for the Bears.
Ben came in on the lighter side as he as he increased his strength. Oh the, yeah, he's a big dog season. out there. Yep, yeah. and you know we are gonna certainly use him in the run game. That's kind of the first thing I saw with him getting to work with this group is what he could do in the run game, his pop and his snap. And I think he's improving on all phases of the game. Um, you know, getting more and more comfortable in the tight end role, and you know some of his athletic traits are are uh, you know second to none in that room. And we're really excited about what he's about to do. The freshmen don't get a lot of chance to get much run, especially in deep rooms. But what have you seen from from Camden Jones so far? Well, shoot, I mean, I think you guys all see what I'm seeing when he walks out here. You know, he looks different. He looks like he's supposed to be on this field, and that's what I've told him multiple times. Um, you know, he's uh, young. He played a little bit different position at Maranatha where they had him a little bit more split out. So I've had a blast, you know, helping him get in line and show him some run blocking. But, you know, in the passing game, certainly he's uh, he's taking all that stuff in, in full stride and, uh, you know, caught a couple big catches uh, the other day. So we're really excited about his athletic ability and uh, his frame. You know, he's going to be a talented player as well. And Jeffrey Johnson's a guy that some guys have mentioned as a, one of the leaders on the team. Yeah. What are your thoughts on him? Oh, gosh. Love Jeff. Um, He's an awesome player and an awesome kid. Um, you know, they talk about cow guys or cow men, you know, guys that are just built for this place, that want to be successful in the classroom, in the community, and on the field, and that is Jeff Johnson to a T. You know, he is a, if I had a daughter right now, he'd be the first one in line to date her. I mean, unbelievable kid, does everything right, um, extremely hardworking, and what he has done to grow his game as a tight end, I think has been extremely impressive. He has taken all his traits that he has, and he does it exactly how we coach it, and uh, it works out, and it's really exciting to see him grow. He's another converted linebacker, right? Uh, or he, defensive he end? He was a defensive end, defensive a end. rush guy, so he kind of gets in their head a little bit. You know, <laughs> He's using their techniques against them. Nice. Um, but he's an awesome player, and shoot, we, we love having him, and certainly, certainly a leader for us. Do you have more fun in practice? At any point, other than putting on the gloves and getting trying to cause some fumbles? Never, never. I try to confuse him a little bit. You know, I try to say a bird over there and punch it out, all right? Because ball security, you always got to be ready for it. Um, but no, that is the best part of practice. I just love being out here and working with these guys and helping them achieve their goals. You know, I remember how much this game meant to me and how much this program meant to me when I was here. And I know my room and I know a lot of guys on this field feel the same way about Cal and love this place and want to see this place be successful. And uh, you know, just the the amount that people care here is special, and it's rare. And uh, I love seeing that in my group, and I love bouncing around on the field and, and helping them achieve their goals. Living the dream. Living the dream. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, you've seen and heard a lot over the course of your career here. How have you developed your messaging from what you heard as a player and articulating it now to your players? Yeah, that is a great question. Um, you know, I think Coach Wilcox has done an unbelievable job being so consistent through, throughout the years and with his vision and the type of program that he wants. Um, and I think throughout my journey, kind of what I was alluding to before, uh, I've just found that how much I love Cal and how much I love what it does for young men, develops them in all phases of life. And uh, I want that to be heard from my room. Now, when I was here, as I tell my tight ends, you know, uh, football was probably my priority and that's what I loved the most and it was special to me. And um, you have to work at it and you have to, you know, really, really, like Coach Wilcox says, sweat the small things and work on those details each and every day. And um, I'm really, really proud of my room, how they're, how they're taking advantage of that. And then another last development that I've been seeing is you've been working with the kick return and the blocking game. How has that been coming along and how can that special teams be a strength for you? Oh, yeah. Well, I really appreciate Coach Soto giving me a bigger uh, role in ST. You know, I was telling him today, I wasn't really at a lot of the ST. I was down there doing pass sets, you know, with the O-line. So it's been really exciting to continue to expand my football knowledge, especially in the ST role. Um, you know, tight ends have a huge involvement. Um, you know, the best tight ends in the country are on special teams. You know, speaking of like Brock Bowers being on Georgia's punt unit. Um, so I'm challenging the tight ends to, to be on ST. You know, if you want to be a great tight end and play on Sundays, you're on ST. Um, so that's really a sense of pride in our room. And, I've really appreciated being on those units and, and getting to grow my football knowledge. Are any of those guys out there fairly consistently, your tight ends? For ST? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they better be, all right, or they're going to get in all trouble. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're, certainly, uh, we're certainly scattered around on, okay. that, on that depth chart, and we make sure to be. Right. Um, you know, especially a guy like Corey, you know, he's got some ST background, so we're excited about that and, and their tools and their physicality. Well, he's about the fastest tight end you'll see out there, too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, he's doing a nice job, and we'll keep him out there. And, Maybe let him return some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. Right. Thanks, guys.